Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys the last step, or last major step, whenever you guys are going to be working on your animographs. So if you guys have completed your work, you have done all the lines at the bottom and you've also numbered them and you also have your name on the back, you should have handed them to me and then I will hand back your pieces that are all cut up. So the number that you should have on the back, your last sheet should be an eight, an eight. After that, you'll undo your paper clip, set it off to the side, flip it over, and make sure that you do not turn it or try to rotate your pieces or do anything else. Just make sure you lay them down the exact same order. So I pull this from the left and I lay it right down underneath the sheet that I have up here. I will hand you guys one of these sheets whenever you guys get one of these. I pull my second one. And you notice that it's going to go green, red, green, red in an alternating sequence or in a pattern because our papers need to be this way whenever we start gluing it up here. So basically, I intentionally did this so that it's easier for you guys. We don't have to sit there and fuss too terribly much. Now, if you pull off that paper clip and start mixing up together, you're going to have to figure it out. Make sure that you guys don't pull off that paper clip ahead of time and start mixing them. Once you have all of these laid out, you're going to grab a glue bottle and pull these down just slightly. And then on the left side, start adding a little bit of glue. You don't have to add a ton just to make sure that you can adhere these strips. And go from top to bottom, left to right. I'm only going to do about a third right now until I make sure I get everything attached. So whenever I'm starting to glue these, all I'm doing is taking, starting from the left and going straight up. So here, I'm going to grab this piece, I'm not going to turn it, rotate it, flip it, and I'm just going to lay it right on the edge of that paper. I try to line it up as best I can. Once you're done with that one, grab your second one. Don't turn it, rotate it, do anything to it. Just pull it straight up. Try to get it as close as you possibly can to this next one. So I don't have any gaps. I don't have any overlapping. I just make sure that they touch right at the edge. And I will continue to do this until I reach the end of all of my strips. What should happen whenever you guys are done is that there shouldn't be any white over here and there shouldn't be any pieces that are dangling off the side. Okay, looks like I need more glue. Once you guys have glued all of this, you will end up putting it up on the drying rack, letting it dry, and then the next day I will come and show you guys the next step. The next step after that, as soon as I get all these laid out, I will show you guys on one of my older examples. So I'm going really fast now. Just pulling them straight up, making sure they line up as best I can. If you guys end up having some that are mixed, please let me know before you guys start gluing. Otherwise, we have to let it dry and then I have to work on it the next day and cut it all up into pieces. That is a pain to fix. Almost done. Then I can show you the next step. Okay. All done. Let's tap everything down, make sure it's all nice and stuck. Push that off to the side and I'm going to go grab that other piece. This is an older piece that I had created, so it's nice and flat. I've glued them all down. They're right, nice, right edge to edge. And what you guys are going to start doing whenever your pieces dry 
is you're going to take either the left or the right hand side and make sure that that section right at the line of the two pictures is going to get folded down. So I pinch it and pull it up. You might have to go across the crease and tap it down with your fingers. This next one gets folded up. We are just creating a fan fold. Push it back together and I keep doing it so this one comes out. This one comes out, up, 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 and this last section should be down. So whenever it's done, I should have one picture on this side, another picture on this side. Push it down, and then you guys will come over to me and get some cardboard. So imagine I have a little chunk of cardboard right here. I will lay this down. And then I will staple it, all these little sections to make sure that this doesn't move and then I'll be able to show you guys your illusion, okay? So hopefully I shouldn't have any questions, but if you do, please raise your hand and make sure that you call me over appropriately and I will get to help you as best I can. Thank you guys for watching.